So welcome to the show tonight. Uh, I have two special guests. They are going to bring us into 2021. We are going to feed off their energy and we're going to let these two guys take the stage. I, um, I think 2021 is going to be an awesome year for natural bodybuilding and I'm super excited about it. All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys take over. Thanks for coming on the show tonight. Let's have some fun. Well, I, I'll start. Actually, I want to make an announcement, which I haven't made yet. I was waiting for this video, but obviously he's too busy, this guy. We can't we can't get him to, to commit to a date. So for the people that don't know this, I wanted to announce it last year, but Barbarian Heck, the chief, is going to be an AMBF athlete representative. So for those of you that do not know what that means, the AMBF has, is run by me and a bunch of other people who have been awesome. I mean, I can't go down all the names, but MG, Carlisi, Katie Gallagher, Greg Robinson, there's a whole bunch, Daryl Lee, a whole bunch of people that, help, that have helped me out over the years. But we have what we call athlete reps, where if you have a question on anything about the AMBF, you can reach out to all sorts of people that kind of like fit into what you do. If you're a classic physique gentleman or a bodybuilder, you would be able to talk to the athlete rep that handles, not specifically handles that, but that's his background, that's his career. You might have a question of, say, marketing or getting involved in some sort of outside promotion. So you find a guy that does that. Well, this guy here does both of it. This guy's an animal. He's got tons of tons of followers on social media. He's a classic physique pro. He's a bodybuilding pro for the AMBF. He's hopefully going to be promoting a show for the AMBF in the fall. And Real soon. Working on the logistics. Well, you heard him. It's going to happen. And then he's also a marketing guru. I mean, he's create. You know, I used to look at his his social media and was like, who the hell is this guy? Then he comes to my show, and it basically was. He's an amazing guy. I'm, I'm excited to be announcing him as an athlete rep for the AMBF. He's been very helpful to me. He's he's down in North Carolina, which is one of my favorite places to go. So it's a great strategic area for the AMBF. He's the man to go to if you need any questions, really, in regards to anything. If you can't get in touch with me, contact him. If he can't answer it, he'll get to me. So I'd like to welcome him to the AMBF family. I, I'm excited. I wanted to announce it last year, but obviously everything fell apart. But here he is. He's a new athlete rep, and I'm very excited to have him. So thank you very much for being a part of the NBF family there, big boy. Well, thank you, Kent. I appreciate you. Um, you know, there are people in this industry I look up to, Mark Lobliner being one, you being another. Um, <clears throat> the AMBF has been a family oriented organization for me so you know i'm i'm new to the social media but i pick things up quickly and um so anybody out there if you want to compete at the ambf the ambf is one of the best federations i've ever competed in you know the shows are ran properly there's no lollygagging it's judged professionally and with no biasness there's no Oh, I'm training this person and this per. I, I've been there, done that. I've seen a lot of craziness. We're going to keep that out of the wraps for now because I don't want to talk too much about that. But if you guys need anything, just reach out to me. If there's something that I cannot answer, I will bring it up the chain. There's a lot of us that we can answer certain things, you know. So reach out. Um, Kat, one more time, I appreciate you bringing me on to the family. And um, pretty soon we'll be locking in a date. Um, we're getting things ready for a show that I will personally be promoting. Probably going to be something like the Barbarian Classic. Who knows? Oh. We'll figure I it out. I love it. <laughs> I love the sound. I'm thinking the trophies will be real crazy. We'll have a Barbarian man and then a Barbarian woman. I don't know. We may even throw like a, a, a little vegan special. We'll see if any vegetarian and vegans want their own trophy. Well, we could get a big a big broccoli doing a double bicep. <laughs> hey, what whatever 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 works, you know what I mean? Whatever yep. works. 
And I'm excited. I'm excited to have you as part of the AMBF family. I can't wait to get it rolling. I can't wait to get our first show, first show of the year, March 20th, down in Columbus, Georgia. We have a, you know, a great show set up. We're pumped up. We have a lot of people who are interested in that, in that show. So we're ready to go. And, you know, it's, it's, we have a show in Atlanta every year. That's usually in June. So this is a good feeder show. It's a good, it's also, it's a pro master event, pro master event. So anybody that's over 40 and you're a pro actually bikinis 35 plus, but any, any of the masters out there, you guys, you know, it's, you play for pay. So I'm ready to give it out. I got a whole year's worth of, uh, a whole year's worth of nothing to make up for. So we gotta, we gotta, Fill it up. We got a lot of people want to do that show, so I'm excited. We have a lot of the judges that do our show down in Atlanta are going to be there. It's going to have a nice, a nice local flair, but yet at the same time, I have some people from out of state that are looking to do a pro master show. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, when the AMBF rolls into town, you know we we like to have fun. We follow the rules. We make sure that the shows are fair, good judges, and um, you know we we like to just put on a good show and be fair about it. And it's actually going to be live streamed. Oh, that's awesome. Anybody know who's live streaming that? <laughs> Probably the myth and the legend herself. Yes. I know, she I be- know. <laughs> she will be I'll there be in there. person. I will. Very excited. Yes. Very excited. And you're going to be live on the mic. Oh, my goodness. You better have a five-second delay. You never know what comes out of this mouth at a show. That's the family environment. <laughs> We're very excited about that show. And it's it's always, any show is a great time. But anytime you can get down in the Atlanta area, there's so many amazing caliber of, of competitors down there. It's just, I don't know what it is in the food, the water, whatever. But like when we have our show in Atlanta every year in June, it's competition that it's like, wow, like where do these people come from? But yeah, it's a definitely a great time. We have uh, oh, awesome um, Kent. Let me know if you uh if if you have all the judges cool, but if you need anybody, just let me know. Definitely. Um, I hopefully well we can add you. Even if I have them all, you can come anyway. We'll just add it on. We're gonna hit a bunch of gyms. I was excited when we were gonna do it last year. I had like four gyms I was gonna hit because there's a lot of cool gyms down there. But one of the things that makes me most excited is that the next day I'm going to the car race at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. So that's always oh, that's cool. awesome. so. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a two for one trip, strategically planned. It see when you're the when you're in charge, you can plan things like that. You know? Yeah, that's the goal. So we're gonna have we're looking forward to that. Our our next show, which I'm excited about it. We've moved in. It was in Roanoke for a bunch of years, probably about five six years, and we just didn't seem to get the bang out of it. We get some good competitors, but we just didn't seem to be. Almost like I, I wouldn't say Roanoke wasn't a good look. It wasn't sexy. It wasn't like like a wow. Like I want <laughs> and wow to roll into it. So what better to wow? What better town to wow somebody than a big college town? So we're moving down Route 81 South to Blacksburg, Virginia, the home of Virginia Tech. So we're very excited <clears throat> about that old school movie theater. And it's an active movie theater, so we got to be out by six o'clock. So we're starting that show early at ten because they got the show must go on. So they got they're double dipping that day. They're getting us in there in the morning, and they're mo- then they're throwing us out, and they're gonna have a movie. Maybe I'll stay for the movie and get some popcorn. But we're excited. Blacksburg's a great town, and there's a gym in town, the Weight Club, which is basically famous for putting out the best bodybuilders in natural and natural bodybuilding. A lot of you got guys. Brian Whitaker. I mean, I, I can go on and on and on, but there's just the guys are just amazing. Oh, oh. And I don't want to I'll forget somebody and then they'll be all mad. But but the um I'm excited about this show. I, there's some about college towns that just fire you up. And you know, it's just a younger, younger crowd. The town is there for the college, so everybody's involved in it. So we're excited about that for sure. The um and again it's down south. I just got something for the south. You know, I like to go down there and if we could hit the sh- do the, the southern shows, you know, in the, in the early part of the spring where it's a little warmer, you know, we don't really, we'll come back, we'll come back up north in May, but 
But then we have, um, I believe it's the next one. Let me look at my schedule here. I don't have, we're doing it one by one. South Dakota. I made a video. <clears throat> I made a video back a oh, time ago where South Dakota, I like the way, I know some people from South Dakota. I like the way the governor handled the whole virus thing, not to get political. Um, I like to go to different places. I like to go to places where I feel there's a need. Hey Johnny, what's up, Big Johnny? Um, I like I like to go places. Actually, Johnny put a great video out the other day. You got, of course, I shared the hell out of it because it was about a certain organization that I can't stand. Um, great, great video. If you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. It talks about bad stuff that goes on that people don't know about that they should be aware about. But back to my South Dakota, South Dakota, May eighth, Sioux Falls. Very excited. We're going to be in a beautiful. A beautiful event center. They have a concert hall. They have they have a venue for sports. They have meeting rooms. We're using one of the uh, smaller ballrooms. In the first time show, you know, we gotta be wary of expenses. Maybe someday we we'll a ballroom, but we're excited about it. We I have a lot of inquire inquiries about it. I we've been in touch with some people that are out there, and they're gonna they're willing to help us out. I, we've talked to a lot of gyms, and. Sammy will be at that show too, so hopefully yes, will. Uh, it will be it will be fun. I like to go to new places. I like to go places that don't really have shows. Number one, they have a lot of competitors, but they have to travel a lot for shows. Or if they have one or two shows, it's definitely not. It's definitely an area that's ripe for an A and B F show. So we like to strategically put them out there. I can't read. <laughs> yeah, I can't read that one either. Oh, that's hey, Daryl. So, yeah, we're excited. Those are the first three shows. I don't want to just go down them all at a time. We got we got an hour, right, Sam? Yeah. All right. So, well, actually, I, let me let me go over the nationals. I was on the phone today with the uh, the venue for the nationals. That's May fifteenth. That's our that's our flagship show. It's our biggest show. I mean, it's a, it, we're we're moving again. You notice the trend? We're not using schools because schools. You can't, they won't commit to you. They won't let people, it, it's just tough to deal with, especially up this way. Um, hopefully as we move on, we'll be able to start. I want to have some shows in certain areas that I'm trying to get in touch with schools, but it's, it's been tricky. This is going to be in a, a venue hall in Asbury Park, New Jersey. So if anybody out there that knows Asbury Park, it's a very cool and hip town. It's on the ocean. It's an old school town, old school town, like back 1940s, 1950s was the, pl was the place to go. My grandparents used to go there. It's like the same as AC. <laughs> but now it's, it's been revived and it's a beautiful. There's restaurants everywhere. There's bars everywhere. Uh, hopefully by then things will be somewhat normal. Even if it's not normal, it's still a great place to go. People go there all the time now. Um, I'm sure we'll still be wearing masks by then, but who knows. But it seems to be New Jersey is a little ahead of other states around the country so we're actually in pretty good shape here now but so that's our big show pro divisions ken Very i have excited. a question New yes so tell us about this mr america logo that i see on your posters let them know what's that what's that all about well i'll tell you what it's about sam you took my question oh <laughs> that's right but, we're gonna get excited about this so the Mr. America, we we had the great opportunity of being involved in that last October. I'm friends with the promoter, and I, you know, all year long he was talking about he had to have the show, had to have the show, and, and you know, and he, he really stuck with it, and he and he pulled it off, and it was a great event, not only because he had it and he had a nice turnout. He would have had more people, unfortunately, if uh, besides the situation. But he had a nice turnout. He had a good crowd. He had a whole full slew of of um. Road tripping. What's up, Lance? Oh, fix, fix that. What's up, Lance? So it just was a great event. Like, so we it's unsanctioned, which I liked because there was no politics, no baloney. People were from all different organizations, and every the judges. I think every organization except for one surprise 
uh, was not involved. So we decided, AMBF, uh, a little birdie got in my ear, gave me an idea that we would fully back the Mr. America contest. We would 100% endorse it, 100% recommend that people do it for a few reasons. A few reasons is that, number one, I, I think it's a great thing for natural bodybuilding. I think an unsanctioned show of that caliber, of that magnitude, the name of Mr. America, is a good thing. Uh, when I was there, I, I thought it was a good thing, and I think everybody else thought the same thing. Um, I wanted to be part of it, so I want to be part of it next year, but I, I'm, I want to be a bigger part of it. So that's why we endorsed it. Now, the funny thing is, is that here I am a president of an organization that I'm backing the Mr. American Unsanctioned Show, but the funny thing is that no other organization has, no other organization has mentioned it, no other organization, it's like the competitors want to do the show and they feel like they can't. So that, that's, to me, that's sad. Here's an event that's good for natural body. We've got people from all different organizations on the same stage and becoming friends. I met people that I didn't know before this. You know, that's the thing about natural body. When you go to a show, you leave with 5, 10, 15, 20 new friends. I mean, that's that's the goodness of the sport. The badness of the sport is the baloney politics that plays in it. And people, people wish that you fail. Well, he didn't fail. He prospered. And next year is going to be even... I was going to say huger. Is that even a word? It's going to be a whole lot. <laughs> I like huger. It's going to be huger next year. And we've also gone a step further. We're going to have a drawing in all AMBF shows that I'm giving away entries to the Mr. America contest. I want, that's how much I'm excited about it is that I want to, I want to, basically not sponsored, but give away entries to, to the Mr. America and we will have an AMBF team there. So I'm backing it 100%. I challenge the other organizations to do the same. I've always said, do the right thing. Don't worry about other people. Just do the right thing. And that's what we're doing. And so that's the Mr. America. And I can't wait. We had a good time. I may have to stay more than, I may have to just not drive it down in the morning and drive back. I may have to ex experience the whole the whole thing, but yeah, it's definitely you guys out there. If you want Mr. America, he's actually doing a um, he did a casting call for a reality show. He's looking for six or seven competitors to be part of that. So contact him. You have to be entered. You can go to his website, and she just posted his, what is it, Mr. America official or something? I mean, easy to find. But yeah, I recommend the show. That's why the AMBF is fully behind the Mr. America contest because it's the right thing to do. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yes, so sir. Is it, is it safe to say that in the future maybe the AMBF would actually like bring in the Mr. America as part of the AMBF and make it sanctioned? Uh, I, I you the, the, the rules behind the Mr. America is that whoever you have to buy the rights. So Mark Torriello has bought the rights to have that show. And okay. I know he's, it's, his, it's, it's unlimited. So he's, he has it for a while. And it can't be sanctioned. It has to be unsanctioned. That's the rules of the gentleman. That, he doesn't want one specific organization. Uh, it has to be unsanctioned. Which, is, which kind of, I like it because it's a neutral show. You get d different judges from all different organizations, and you have all different competitors. So I think as time goes on and it continues to prosper, it'll be the biggest natural show in the circuit, my opinion. So I, I, you know, that's you know, it's just a real show, no politics. There can't be politics because it's unsanctioned, right? And it's in Atlantic City, the home of Miss America, so it's perfect. And it's an hour away, so I can. Go. Look at Sam with the graphics. He's something. I know, right? <laughs> he works fast. Long way from the interview a few years ago. She oh, yeah. Our first Facebook Live interview. Who is this girl? Oh, man. Good time. What other time? What do we got? 
So yeah, you have. Uh, let's talk about your. Um, you're going to be in North Carolina, the Mountaineer. The Mountaineer, yeah, we're going to be in Ooh, Lenore. And who's this guy on the poster? You know, I, he looks familiar. To me. I don't know. He looks really good. <laughs> he yeah, got a shot. And the coolest Native American. I mean, his, his costume and his, well, I wouldn't even say it was a costume. His real, I mean, a real Native American headdress. And he had a. I don't know if it was it was it a tom what is, was it a tomahawk you call tomahawk. it tomahawk? yeah it was a tomahawk so he, it was really cool but where we have that show in Lenore it's a beautiful venue the lighting is amazing and oh we amazing a- venue amazing venue anybody who wants to do this show not to cut you off King but anybody who wants to do that mountaineer show please do it one of the best experiences I've had in natural bodybuilding was the mountaineer very you know, great venue very great lighting um the, the there's one thing about when you do shows how backstage it's cold and then your veins go away and then when you get on stage you gotta kind of get warmed back up that place was just perfect stage and backstage was even perfect show yeah sometimes sometimes you get lucky with a venue i mean it's a beautiful venue in a little small town nestled in like the the foothills of the uh blue ridge mountains and uh so it's it's a beautiful spot. So I mean, it's not the greatest density, and it's it's not a populated area, but it's close enough to Charlotte, it's close enough to Raleigh, it's close enough to some big cities, Atlanta, that people can make the trip. But yeah, we get a decent show there all the time, and the venue is really amazing. So we just keep going back, and we get a lot of support from the local, the local area too. So yeah, that's a good that's a good show. We have a good time there, and and it's. Again, it's a beautiful area to be in. But yeah, the venue, the backstage is big. I mean, it's just plenty of room. So that's definitely uh and he'll he'll be judging that show, so that'll be cool. Go from winning yeah. it to judging. And we'll yeah, have some regular buddy. We're gonna have the people's judge, Mike Dalton, there. He's always fun to have around. Oh yeah. Good yeah. show. He's a good guy. What do we got next? The next show. See if Sam is ready. It looks like you have. Uh, we're going to North Carolina for the Crystal Coast. Crystal Coast. Oh. Yeah, Crystal Coast. July thirty first. Here's another one, and I hated to do this, but I, again, I had to switch my venue. We had a high school that we used. That's a big. It's a big fine art school, so their their theater was was their auditorium was amazing, but they're not. They won't commit to anything. They want me to wait, and, I, and you just can't wait. So I'm using a, a civic center. Ah, Johnny's coming to Mountaineer. Yo, you better better bring it. Let's team. go, Johnny. So, we're using a venue. It's a Civic Center, which is right on the Sound, which is overlooks the Sound, which is really nice. They're willing to work with me. I mean, they don't have a lot of things going on, and the summertime's not busy, so they're giving me more space than than you know. I'm paying for one thing, getting something else. So they're really they're taking care of me. They want me down. They knew my dad, so they're working with me. So it, it's it's nice to know that. My, my dad is still helping me out, basically. So, yeah, I, I'm excited about I'm sad that I can't have it in the original venue that we always use for the past six, seven years. But I'm excited to be switching to this venue because it is a first class, first rate, first class in a first rate facility. So that's great. And then basically I'm on vacation there for a week. That's basically my second home, that area. So I'll be down there for a week sitting my big fat. Well, I don't know if I'll be fat by then. Well, I'll be skinny because I'm getting ready for a show on this. But so I'll be just gonna be putting my my blood on beach and fish. Can't have can't that'll be go. cool. I'm coming. I'm coming out there. Can't we need to um we need to go hit up some gyms out there too and get some uh some, some iron pumped in. Yeah, we're I'm excited. We can't have any blizzards though at Dairy Queen. I'm very disappointed. That's usually my favorite way to end the night. But yeah, that's that's a fun one. And then. We don't have well we do have we're having another i don't have the flyer we're having another do you have show. more more head north carolina yeah i have, I have that but I'm, we're gonna have our other our other northern show in new jersey in september we just can't we just can't set a date yet i'm it's gonna be the end of september probably september 25th that's the goal i gotta i just spoke to them today about the may 15th and that they're so they're closed because there's, there's nothing on there so they're closed 
So office people are off. So there's one woman who handles the booking. She does it all, and then I have to wait. But yeah, we're going North Carolina, the same back to the same venue, October 16th. That's our bigger of the two um, of our two North Carolina beach beach shows. So I get to take a nice weekend. So that's always fun. We have all pro divisions in that one. Looks like they want a South Carolina show. Yeah, Johnny yeah. normally has a, he promotes one. Yeah, uh, Johnny's just got to figure out. Johnny Hurley, who promotes for us in South Carolina, it's, uh, we have good shows there. We have it in the town, I guess, where he grew up in, and it's a lot of fun. The people down there are great. We get a lot of people from the Atlanta area coming out, some people from Alabama. We get a lot of North Carolina people. So we get a nice show there. And But, again, the problem is we can't book a date because we don't know. They're not ready. They're not opening it up for anything yet. And then also, too, I guess we should talk about our Atlanta show. I'm hoping that, that Skip Skip Gillen, whose daughter is four-time Miss Figure Olympia, she just got married, so congratulations to her. Congratulations to the family. But hopefully we'll get that settled in July. That's usually when it is. It's usually the last weekend in June. So I don't want to put shows on the, ske on the schedule unless it's 100% confirmed. This We've had a lot of uncertainty in 2020, so I don't want to have to um, – I don't want to put anything on there. Hopefully it happens like you see out there. I mean, I, I'm not, I don't want to just paste this year's schedule, the last year's schedule on this year. So then we're going, going back to Texas. We're going to Colleen, <laughs> Texas. Venue, it's at the Civic Center, the hotel, the parking lot oh. right across the other way. We don't have the, you have the flyer for that? I don't. I'm going to grab it. How far right is now. that from Houston? How's it far from who? From Houston, how far is how far is this venue from uh, Houston, Texas? Kind of two and a half hours south of Dallas. Okay, gotcha. Fort Hood, the biggest army base in the country, is there. So we we get a few guys from there, but it's mostly we get people that are just looking to do a show. We've been there before. We get we get a lot of support in Texas. I got a lot of actually a lot of friends in Texas that from other organizations. That's probably an, an area where I get more help from all the other organizations out of anywhere. I, I have heads of organizations judging the show there. They just want to help out because they know it's good for the sport. Uh, you know, we made it We made it where it's not competitive with any other, with any other shows. So I get all these uh, top-notch people at the show, and we have a great time. They all stay. We all go out to eat. We got we to eat Tex-Mex. And, um, you know, it's funny. All these things revolve around food with me. <laughs> I have shows just so I can eat. That's why I'm so heavy. Yeah, so we got we've had some good caliber competitors come out of our uh, Texas shows, and it is a it's a pro show, giving away money. They, yeah, and uh, last time I bought some cowboy jeans. I don't know even where they are, but <laughs> aware. But yeah, I'm excited. I, Texas shows are fun. I'm just sorry that they cowboy fans down there, but you know, <laughs> gotta be a fan. As long as you're not an Eagle fan. Then we got, uh, then the next show on the schedule, I don't have a flyer for that yet, but I'm very excited for this. I want, we get so many, so many competitors from Staten Island that I wanted them to have their own show. And I'm also going to make it competitive for them. So it's a regular show with all the amateur classes and pro, we're going to have pro classes, but I'm also going to have special divisions for Staten Island people only because they're very competitive, so I just think it'll be a fun thing. I uh, traveled to a few gyms on Staten Island, so I'm going to start hitting the floor and really pump that up. But it's going to be the Battle of Staten Island, and we're going to see who's the best. So that's uh, November 20th. Have it. It's actually being held in a, um, a botanical garden place, but they have theaters there, and we're using one of the wow. smaller, smaller theater halls. It's basically a room. They put up a stage for us. They use it for like the, all their smaller programs. So again, we're being smart with the venues. We can't, you know, we have obviously this year killed us money-wise. Um, basically, didn't take memberships. We only did it in the beginning of the year when we had a special, but we stopped taking memberships all year. I don't. So we got to be smart with our budgets. I'd rather have smaller shows in smaller venues, but run right, you know, and, and not skimp on anything. Than have it in big venues, and then all of a sudden say, "Oh, we got to give out two dollar medals. We got to give out." whatever plaques you know we want to make sure our shows are still quality a and bf standards so hack you've been up to something 
let's let's hear about your YouTube channel. What are we gonna well, I see just, on that? Okay, well, so Instagram for me has been one minute of my life. One minute <laughs> snippets. So the YouTube channel is gonna be more of the behind the scenes more of a five to seven minutes uh, into my life. So basically when I go judge shows, I'm gonna have my cameraman with me. We're gonna catch footage. Well, I, I wanna show the world what we do from our point of view. So from a judge's standpoint, what does it look like? What does backstage look like? How do the judges react to certain conditioning and symmetry when they see it live? great feedback as far as, you know, judging is concerned. And then, you know, some other parts of my life, you know, because I do a lot of expos and, you know, I'm sponsored with MTS Nutrition, TigerFitness.com, The Outright Bar, now with 015 Nutrition. That's Brandon Curry's line. So constantly traveling to different places. As you know, we both saw each other at the Olympia, at the yes. 015 Nutrition booth. I have footage from then, too, that we're going to put. And it's going to be some daily vlogs. Um, you know, when I decide to commit to a show, then I'm going to do a whole segment on contest prep daily, what I'm doing, what I'm eating. As everybody knows, and for those who don't know, I'm plant-based vegan. It's within my culture. So I do not consume any animal products. So I am a professional bodybuilder that's also plant-based and vegan. So another thing I'm going to show on this um, YouTube channel is high-protein plant-based meals. Um, just kind of debunking the myth. Yeah, just debunking the myth that you can't build muscle off plants. There's a lot of people that say you can't do it, but you can. You just have to know how to eat like a bodybuilder or eat to look the way you want to. Um, and then, you know, a couple different regular daily lives, maybe one or two times with my clients. And I'm involved in a lot of different events. So just kind of like, Put it out there. Let people see a little bit more about me. My yeah. tribal side of the Ooh. my tribal side. I'm not going to show. That's private. So um, everything else that's public, though, I'll definitely show that and just get people to understand and get to know me a little bit more. On Instagram, I seem like this one character, but in reality, I'm down to earth. I'm crazy when I'm lifting, but when I'm not lifting, I'm just me, relaxed and just dropping my first. Um, video where uh i did a it's called the junk juice takeover so big boy cannon he's also in the picture right there um that's like my that's like one of my brothers he's sponsored by ambrosia which is a company owned by uh mark lobliner sean Torabadi, and mike rasheed and him and i came together and we're touring so he owns an energy drink company called junk juice a really good energy drink company the energy drinks are great. We're coming together. We have other business moves that we're doing. Um, so, you know, we decided we're going to go on tour and hit up different gyms, real hardcore gyms that, you know, are powerlifting gyms or bodybuilding gyms and just throw events, give out free products for people, help promote some of the shows that we're doing with the AMBF, things like that. Just getting out there and letting people know. Um, you know, if you want to get in shape, there's different ways, but just doing different tours. So anybody who wants to subscribe, I would love it. Subscribe to my YouTube, my Instagram and YouTube is the same. Barbarian Hawk, B-A-R-B-A-R-I-A-N-H-A-K. I love it. I'm excited. That first video was awesome. Did you do all your, did you do the editing and all of that for that video? So the editing for that video was myself and RNS. RNS is my videographer and photographer so he oh. follows oh. me around he flew you saw him he was at the olympia catching yeah. a lot of olympia footage um the dude is amazing and um i'm very grateful that he's gonna he's working with me on these next projects because i have some other projects i'm doing with tigerfitness.com and some other stuff that's going on i don't want to reveal it yet but just everybody you know we have some really cool stuff going on and coming on the woodworks and when i go judge this show well the couple shows because i'm letting kent know i'm available for whatever shows he needs i'm definitely going to just help natural bodybuilding get out there more let, let people know what we yeah. see 
Because a lot of people see and hear things, but how about seeing and hearing it from a person who does it, who competes yes. and yes. judges from both sides? I like hey, it. I, I like what you guys do. I know a good gym that you can come to. Let's do it. I'm coming to yours, and I'm bringing the film, and we're going crazy, and we're going to break records. <laughs> That's say, why I want that's that's why when we link up, I wanna I wanna go ahead and hit up some gyms with you, man. We're gonna get some footage. I'm gonna throw you, I'm gonna make you famous on my YouTube. You brought up the whole the whole like supporting natural bodybuilding as a whole. And that's kind of like how it really should be. It shouldn't be, oh, I'm gonna support this organization, I'm gonna support that organization. I mean, obviously, yeah. the organization that you're part of, you know, that 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 goes without saying. But to be a supporter of natural bodybuilding is really what what matters, and, and that's what really bothers me about some of the stuff that goes on. It's just like all this nitpicking and and talking behind people's back and this and that. Oh, just all that crap. That there's so much stuff that goes on in natural bodybuilding that really shouldn't because of all the pettiness. And so it's better just to be supportive of natural bodybuilding and just really. It, it's it's almost like. You want to call out what's right, but you can't really let the bad stuff go either because somebody needs to be accountable for the mistakes they make. So, you're, but it's all about supporting natural bodybuilding, which actually reminds me of what I I posted yesterday on what if I should do NPC shows like the Masters Nationals this year or go back to the natural pro shows. Now, I have thinking. I have, my thinking is both ways, and a lot of people don't really know what happens when you go to a, a national level show and you're somebody else from a different arena and you're somebody else who they know who's popular from say a natural pro i've been well a lot of people had said that i should do both actually sam you said i should do both i, can. I agree That's, that was going to be my that was going to be my thing in a real world, that's what I was going to say, you both. Why not? That's what I would do. But the pro, this is the problem. The problem is the NPC doesn't allow natural pros to compete in their organization. Now, I have in the past, but once, basically, once somebody says something or once something happens, they'll come up to you and have a conversation with you as far as, and they'll stick a piece of paper in your face and they'll say, hey, you have to sign this or you can't compete today. So really what happened to me is, and I don't know if I told the story, it happened a long time ago. The story was that I show up after winning a bunch of local, you know, shows locally in New Jersey and doing well in the Masters National the year before. I show up and Somebody, they don't, somebody must have tipped them off to who I was, and because I kept being asked by people, did they talk to you yet? Did they talk to you yet? You know, I'm like, no. What do you mean? Well, they're going to say something to you because now you're up. You know, once you're up at the national level and you're and you're competitive, somebody will say something about you because they'll they'll rat you out kind of thing. Like they won't go searching for the information, but if somebody tells them, they have to react to it. So, I was blackballed. I was given last place because I guess they forgot to talk to me. Uh, they forgot to show me that letter. So you can't do both. So I had what's, to what's the letter contain? That memo. I just, when I hear yeah, yeah, somebody goofed, and basically the next day I was told by a judge that that's what happened. He said, you know, they they didn't want you here. They know who you are. Um, you must have just slipped. Yeah, slipped through the cracks. And when they realized that you were on stage, that's just they, we were told, you know, do what they did, and it was pretty obvious. And actually, they did such a bad job of it. The uh, I guess I'm ruining my chances of competing in the NPC now. So I guess they, <laughs> I, way I'm going with this. So basically, I did talk to one of the judges. I actually I know a lot of judges because I competed with them a lot of them, and I know a lot of them because they're from New Jersey. Some of them. I, the feedback I got from a couple of them was both of them said the same thing. He says, well, to be honest, I had it totally reversed. I had you in first and I had the winner in last. So they did such a bad job of screwing me. They screwed the whole lineup. So I've decided this is like, well, we're coming out with announcements. This is like announcement day. I like this. So I decided that 
I grew up in NPC shows. That's where I grew up. My body is more suited for NPC shows than it is for natural body women because I'm not, I'm not five ten, one sixty, or I'm not six foot two, one. You know, I have big arms, big legs, and I don't, I, I have, I don't get super, super duper shredded all the time. So, so I like NPC was what I competed in because there was no natural shows back then. So. You know, then obviously I did well, do well in the natural shows. But here's the other problem. Being who I am, which really to me is just a regular person, but I happen to run an, a, a natural bodybuilding organization. And I do ruffle some feathers when they deserve it. And I have no problem calling out people when they deserve to be called out. And if they don't like it, that's tough crap. I also have other organizations, yeah. other organizations that refuse to work with the AMBF. So... I'm very limited. I, I, I don't want, I compete to win. I don't care how old I am. 57 years old. I'll be 58 when I start, probably when I step on stage next year. I, I don't compete for second place or third place or fourth place. I need to go into a show knowing that I have the opportunity to win because it's going to be treated fairly. Now they all can say it's going to be fair, but that's not what happened the last year I did natural pro shows. And that's why I stopped doing them. I was not being treated fairly. I wasn't given the opportunity to win at, all the shows I was at, uh, I just feel it wasn't right. And I felt like I bring something to every show that I compete in. And if I'm not appreciated and if I'm not wanted, I won't do it. Now everybody's going to say, Oh, come do my show. You'll be treated fairly, but that's just the way I feel. So I've ruined my chances now competing in the FPC because I just bashed them. But <laughs> putting all that, I'm going to come in whatever show I do, I'm going to be so good that they're going to have choice but to but to give me first place but there are organizations i will not do and you probably could guess the organizations that i won't do i won't no well, i will not do an ocb show i will not do an nga show they will not get my they will not get to use me as promotion whatever they want to say they don't need me they don't need me but i know that i bring something to a show so they won't see me on their stage I will compete in the GBO if I'm given the opportunity. I will compete in, well, I won't do, well, I won't even say that one. I, I, I am pretty limited, not many options left. But I, I, mean, I, was too, I will not, I will do PNBA. I will do them because I like them and I appreciate them. And Mark Torriello is a good friend of mine and we're very supportive of each other. But yeah, there's certain organizations I won't do. OCB, NGA, and there's another one that I'd rather not disclose, but you could probably figure it out. I, I might add to the list, but so that was my decision. So I am going to go back to natural bodybuilding pro shows. I don't have many shows left in me, um, but I still feel I can win. And I feel at this point of my career that it's more important to be a representative of natural bodybuilding and be supportive of all my natural bodybuilding peers to help them. I don't want to send mixed messages. I'm putting my MPC, my IFBB pro card on the, on the back burner because I, I think natural bodybuilding needs people to step up and to do the right thing, which is what my father always told me to do. So that's what I'm doing. At natural bodybuilding, natural pro shows. Now I need to find some that are going to work on my schedule. And I feel that it will be a fair show. Now everybody, of course, is going to say it's a fair show. And you know what, <laughs> what kills me about saying the OCB? I have so many friends, so many friends in the OCB that promote. But I just cannot support that organization. It's not the right thing for me to do. I wouldn't feel right. I just can't support them. And so I wish more people, I wish more next, people felt that. Next week, I'm actually going to be talking with Todd Rogers, who is the, you mentioned I the GBO him. Naturals. Todd, Todd is the best. Cool. I'm excited to hear what they have to offer. I know they're growing. I mean, they're, the GBO is worldwide now. Well, they have a natural, they have a regular division and a natural division, which is kind of like, that's good. Give yeah. people the option. Yeah. But Todd always, he, he judges the shows for us in Texas. He's a great okay. guy. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind, but, you know. They don't have any shows up, you know. I don't obviously I don't mind traveling. I travel everywhere, so 
but yeah, I wouldn't if, if the schedule fits and if it's a show that I can get get to and work it out with my shows, then I will do a GBO show for sure. He's a good there there he's a good guy, and I know that people that do their shows are very very happy with it. For the most part, they're in Texas, but they have moved to um, they Atlanta and then Florida too, I believe. I do have one down here in Orlando. So that's my that's my answer to my thing yesterday. It's just I feel it's a time for not just me, but more people should step up and be truly supportive of natural body language, regardless of what organization they're in. That's my soapbox. I'm done. <laughs> I like it. So you got like to it. We got a new athlete rep, and F the NPC and the OC. <laughs> oh my God! I'm just the host. Yeah. I just give Kent the platform. Oh, man. Yes, are not what you think. <laughs> Whatever. I put that up. They are not my opinions. They're not my opinions. Oh, my. So, you know, there's always this thing about you starting a podcast that Lance throws out there. Who thinks that would be a good idea to have a, a weekly Kent Beerly podcast? talk every week I, I don't know i i just i could do it i, I but i'm a busy guy what it? people act like i got nothing to do i got a gym i can run i got i got clients to train i got shows to run i got power to meets to put on but if people want a podcast i'll just add to my list of things so let's do it lance we're gonna start doing it but we can't be in comp competition with subculture she's too good Oh, no, I just, I like the video end of it. You guys do the podcast. Or, or I can help you set it up. You know me. Yeah, actually, Dude. Sam, you've got a lot of help. I appreciate all the help you've given the AMBF and all the behind-the-scenes stuff. And I mean, it's... You're a, Absolutely. You're a I, that's what I like to do. So, yeah, so guys, thank you so much for being on the show. And... I can't wait to see more of the YouTube channel. I think that's exactly what natural bodybuilding needs. And I, that, uh, I, have, to, I have to learn up on that. I was kicked <laughs> off. I think I was just kicked off, matter of fact. Hold on. No, kicked you, off what? The YouTube. I, did, I have to reach out, I, reach out to you separately so you can tell me about the your YouTube, big man. Oh, yeah. No problem. Yeah. It's a, uh, uh, tonight we'll be editing something else going up. It's probably going to be some training footage of uh, Mark Loblon and I training back uh, at the Olympia. Nice. Actually, that reminds me that show that I, I'm having a hard time rescheduling was that Nashville show. I, I wanted to go back to Nashville, but the school won't, the university, the Vanderbilt University won't, uh, they won't give it up yet, so I'm still trying on Nashville. I was excited to go there. But they got bombs going off in town. That's not cool. No. That's right where we would have been hanging out. Weird. Well, Sam, it was a lot of a lot of fun. I'm excited yes. to announce Marion as uh, athlete rep. And I actually have I have three or four more new ones that I'm going to be announcing as we go forward before our first show. Well, actually, I, I'm going to do it this week because I want people to know who they are and who they can get in touch with. Always got to always gotta move ahead. So I'm excited. You know, I just like to have people, a lot of, none of the names are going to be unrecognizable. So people will know who they are. So they've been a big part of, of the AMBF history from the beginning. Most of them, actually, actually all of them. So they've been very supportive, and I just feel like they they deserve to be highlighted a little extra, like 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 the chief here. He's been. I a appreciate great you, man. I appreciate being a part of the ABF and taking this new position. And um, I'm willing to help out as much as I can. Everybody, reach out to me on Instagram, YouTube, whatever. I don't have Facebook. I'll eventually get there. I only have two hands and one brain. So. I can't deal with all the different social medias, but anything regarding bodybuilding, anything regarding classic bodybuilding, classic physique, posing, marketing, anything you guys need to reach out to me for, you know where to find me. Text me if you want. Serious inquiries only if you're a competitor. 
704-951-5533. We're that serious on this side. So there you go. All right. All right, guys. Sam, how's my, how does my backdrop look? Nice? Do it look good? It looks, it looks awesome. Amazing. I need one of those. I also need a shirt. I need a shirt that fits me. I've been bulking <laughs> up, so the, the, the mediums don't work anymore for me. Uh, I got cinch, cinch bags, AMBF cinch bags, and AMBF t-shirts in the works. I need it all. I need it all. I need the hat, the sweatsuit, the track suits. I need them all. Spending money on bags. Hey, he reps all his swag, though. He's good for it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of those FTS shirts. Yeah. I got I got a box full of the new stuff that 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 they just made. Guys are great. All right, Sammy, what do you have in store? We, we didn't hear from you. What do you got in store? You're the host, but we need to know what you got going on. I just always have stuff going on. It comes out slowly, but you know, right now it's the live streaming of the bodybuilding shows, which I've had an amazing outpouring from the promoters, which is awesome it's awesome for the athletes the promoters are really embracing it kent being one of them he has me going all over the country to live stream his shows um you know so now family from around the country that wouldn't normally get to see you on stage has the opportunity to see you on stage but not only that they're gonna learn and understand what they're watching because there'll be live commentary it'll be um like for instance at kent's shows it'll be him and myself on the mic telling you exactly what you're looking at. What are the judges looking for? You know, what class is this? Like I've seen a lot of live streams, but even me, I'm like, is this, is this master's bodybuilding? Is this open bodybuilding? Like, I don't even know what I'm watching. So we'll be able to right. talk you guys through it and you'll really be able to enjoy the experience. And um, I'll have tidbits on a lot of the athletes. So you'll be able to connect with them, even if they're not your friends or family. And it'll just be a lot of fun. I'm hoping that people really enjoy it, kind of like a sport. It'll be like watching a real sport. Um, well, I, I really like that idea because, you know, there is other organizations that have the behind the scenes and the official pages and the YouTube pages where they do interviews after yeah. someone comes off stage and wins. So, yeah, why not? Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's a good and idea. I, if you could see the room I'm in, I have literally put together an entire mobile studio so that I can provide that for the athletes. Um, awesome. But I just like to do things. Doing I just like great. to have fun. That's great. Yeah. That's it. You come along. <laughs> Sam, you're doing great. Thank you. All right, guys. How's my oh, back? Guys. How's my backdrop look? I have I am group back. Here. How's my backdrop look? <laughs> I'm in my son's room. My wife is working, so she's in my studio. So I have to. I like it. Be here like it. in his room. It works. Gets the job done. <laughs> All right, guys. We are. Oh, what? That's Signing out, guys. It was a lot. All right, Sam. It was great talking to you. You too. Good night, guys. Sam, Kent, you guys have a great one. Everybody else watching, have a great one. The King and I will be on another one. So stay tuned. Absolutely. This was a lot of fun. All right. Good